Uh, Norikiyama. Don't remember much about that, so I'm just going to put it in acceptable and move on. Oh, the One Piece. With One Piece. I'm not a fan of One Piece, but at the same time, I don't want to just snub it because I know it is... There are parts of it that are decently written. I uh, like after rewatching it for the live action. I definitely seen a lot of stuff that I missed. At the same time, I feel Oda's just really milking One Piece. I mean, we just got reports that that it's probably not going to end this year or next year. Uh, so, I mean, what is it? They just entered Egghead Island. From what people are saying is we have to go to Elbath before it ends. So there's at least another couple of years of One Piece, which I know a lot of people are happy about, but I don't think this is the peak of anime storytelling. You know, I think Luffy, uh, I think Luffy's adventure is fun. And I think the One Piece adventure is fun. Uh, it can definitely be entertaining painting at points you know when, when I really think about it I just think that not only are there shorter animes that can t that have told complete stories in a shorter amount of time that there are points in one piece that they just they don't make any sense and if if you're waiting for two three arcs to get back to something that you started three arcs before I, I don't like that's that's not good storytelling that's that's like oh I had this idea let me put it in in instead of waiting to do it and then catching up on it. I know it seems like that is world building and storytelling, but it's just bad writing. So I'm just going to put it as good because, I mean, as for a shonen, you know, just the fighting and everything, uh, One Piece does very good in that regard, but it uh, it's not a good story. Reborn! Now, I love me some Reborn, but it's going in fine. That, uh, like, I'm happy that we're finally getting some kind of dub for it with Discotech, but Reborn Reborn has really good fighting, but the story is so slow. Like, just so slow. Roroni Kenshin. Now, I am very outspoken about how I feel about the Angika for it, but I'm just gonna tr I'm just gonna look at it as a story and as an anime and put all that aside. And as far as shonen and fighting, I mean, it's it's very, very good. The animation for the time was great, and definitely um, some of the attacks and the way Kenshin is. It's a good anime and I wish I had, honestly, I, I almost wish I hadn't found out what the mangaka had done because I would have loved to have watched the remake of it, but I've yet to touch it and I won't touch it.